what's going on guys in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a soil moisture sensor with the Raspberry Pi you can get them online for a couple dollars and they're pretty good so what usually comes with the sensor includes a probe an analog to digital uh, breakout board and two um, female to female jumper cables you're going to need three additional jumper cables for a total of five so the things for this build include the uh, was it soil moisture sensor set, jumper cables, and a Raspberry Pi of any flavor. So just before we get started here, let's talk about the use cases. So um, mainly these are used to detect moisture in soil. For example, um, so if you have a a plant that needs a sort of automated watering system you can use this to detect when the soil becomes dry and then have a pump hooked up to a water reservoir uh, pump water into the plant plant soil to water it uh, one thing to note though is that uh, soil environment is highly acidic so I've been reading on multiple forums that over time due to electrolysis your sensor probe may deteriorate and not detect properly so that's just something to keep in mind you may have to replace this uh, sensor occasionally so with all that said and done let's go ahead and wire this bad boy up so I'm going to take the supply jumper cables and plug them to the sensor probe here the, polar the polarity doesn't matter on this end so it doesn't really matter which sides you plug in uh, same thing with this on the analog to digital breakout just uh, just make sure you're plugging them into these two pins right here so now we've got that set up now we can go ahead and wire up the uh, the pins to the Raspberry Pi so as you can see there's four available pins we are only going to be concerned with the digital output ground and VCC so I'm gonna have the screen be our VCC connection so this will go to the 5 volt pin on the Pi so I believe that is the top leftmost pin and then we're gonna have the ground pin so that obviously just goes to ground so ground is the third pin on the top row so one two three and then finally is our output or signal pin. So this will, I'm using a purple jumper cable here. And I'm just gonna make this easy and select GPIO 21. So that's like the top right most pin. Okay, so now we have that physically wired. We can go ahead and test this real quick. So what I'm gonna do is apply power to the Raspberry Pi. Here, I've got a power supply. Here, I'm just gonna hook that up. So you can immediately see that this green light comes on. That's a good sign. I have a little jar of water here that we're gonna use to sort of trip the sensor and simulate, you know, a water event. So if I stick the probe in this jar of water, you should see the other light here come on. And you can see that the the light comes on really strongly. So if you put it in the water and you see it, uh, light up very very weakly you can adjust this pot sensor to fine-tune the sensitivity but now we know that this whole system is working um, we can go ahead and move on to the computer and get the Python script set up so let's go ahead and do that I've opened up PyCharm and created this simple script to interact with the soil moisture sensor so I'll just walk you through it real quick. It's very similar to the sound sensor logic. So you have, um, you know, import the GPIO libraries here and we're importing time. And then here's where we set up the pin. So uh, like I said previously, I hooked the signal pin up to pin 21. So uh, set up as input. This is our callback function. So every time uh, it detects water or the state changes uh, you'll see the corresponding output so right here if 
the LED turns off uh, signal uh, which implies this sensor does not detect water you'll get this no water detect detected message uh, inversely when the light turns on and detects water you'll get this uh, water detected message so this is the portion of the logic where you would put in your custom alert or what have you so down here is just uh, the callbacks for you know so when that state change is detected it'll call this function and then here we're just running an inf an inf infinite loop so it's just looping forever and yeah that's pretty much it so let's SSH into the pi I've already uploaded the uh, Python script, so all I'm going to do is type python soil.py. And there you go, guys. As you can see, uh, when I put the sensor in, this water detected message showed up, and then when I pulled it, out of the little jar we got this message so that's pretty much it that's the tutorial for today I hope you enjoyed um, this guide I always appreciate it if you like and subscribe and comment stay tuned for upcoming videos and I'll see you guys later peace